Hello, everyone, and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. I'm joined today by Dave Deacon, Curtis Hare, and the newest member of our SUNUP team, Ed Barron. And for this holiday edition of SUNUP, it's kind of our favorite time of the year when we get to look back at some of our favorite stories of the year. And before we get started, we want to talk to you about an OSU graduation story that is nearly 50 years in the making. I'm not sure I can find my way around campus over there now. Everything's changed. It was $7 an hour. I can remember that in 1965. Wow. A lot, bought a lot of used books for $2. Worked at the OSU Dairy Barn for two and a half years. Lived in the loft. I'm proud to be a graduate of OSU. And that's the reason walking across that stage has always been really important to me. Although Jerry Ott finished his requirements for his undergrad degree in the winter of 1969, he was in the Army when all of his classmates got to walk across the stage that spring. Back then, there was only one commencement ceremony every May. His dream of walking across the stage became a part of the speeches he gives to the community. Thankfully, a family friend was in the audience for one of his speeches. Just mentioned it to my husband if he thought that that was a good idea. And he thought it was, and so then from there we just started pursuing it. Then Jerry and his wife stopped by their son's house before church one morning. I knew something was wrong because he started kind of tears in his eyes and said, they want you to go through graduation. <laughs> and I guess they knew about it and my wife knew about it. And the reason they didn't tell me because they knew I'd have tried to talk them out of it, which I tried to then, but it was too late. And my granddaughter and grandsons, yeah, you're going, Papa, you're, you're going. And this last weekend, Mr. Jerry Ott, member of the Oklahoma State University class of 1969 got to walk across the stage 48 years after earning his degree. You always finish the job you start. 48 years later, it's very meaningful. 